Hey viewers, I would love to uh, speak to ladies and I would want this video to go uh, viral and that's why I'm not uh, doing this in Yoruba. I needed it to go far. Uh, you see ladies, don't marry a man you love. Marry a man that loves you. We are not saying that you should not love the person you want to marry. But make sure that his own love is more than the love you have for him. Even the scripture says, men, love your, men lo love your wife. With all the voice notes I get every day, with a lot of experiences that people share with me, there was a time I granted an interview and the host asked me that, what is your source of inspiration? I said the environment inspires me. Personally, I don't have any personal much experience, you understand? But I am a kind of person that I am very sensitive to my environment. And when I see things that people are going through, it gives me a lot of concern. And with all the messages that I've gotten, with all the experiences people have shared with me, I can conclude within my spirit that a lot of women ended up with the men they love, not the men that love them. There is no how a woman is in this earth. There is always a man that loves you. There is always a man that desires to be with you. A lot of women are the architect of their problems. They are the ones that ended up with the man that does not love them. But they were the ones that loved the man. Do not make that mistake. Yes, that man that is always looking for you, that loves you, that desire you, you are the one that knows the reason why you trash him off. You trashed him off, you went and stayed with the one that you love. Your love can never change anybody. Your love can never change the heart of a man. It is your submission that can change him. And of course, the brutal treatment he will be giving you will not allow you to submit to him because it is not easy to submit to an unloving man. Do not marry a man you love. Marry a man that loves you. A lot of you women, you have refused to be sensitive. When a man is not giving you attention, a man does not pretend. A man speaks with, is silent at times, speaks. If a man is not giving you attention, is not communicating with you, he is telling you that he is not interested in you. A lot of you knows that this man does not love you. And yet, you pack your things, you go and live with him. He has not paid your dowry, you pack your things and you go and live with him. A lot of you are the ones that you fail to allow those men to relate with the women they like. You pack your things, you live with them, you frustrate them, you choke them. You didn't allow him to be with the woman he loves. Yes, a lot of you women, you are the one, you are the architect of the problem you're going through. That man never told you he needs a wife. Yet, you are the one calling him. You are the one buying him things. You are using your money to buy pain. You allow yourself to be used because he sees you that you are the one that is available, that is vulnerable, and that is naive at that particular time. A lot of you, you push yourself into the house of men that does not even, it does, yeah, it, there are some women today, they can never say that this is the day that this man expresses his love to me. He never told you he loves you. He never told you he wants you. And yet you're running after him. You're choking him. They are the first to sit on their laps. They are the first to cook for them. They are the first to buy them boxer. They are, you see, when you are in a relationship whereby you keep giving and you never get, that is a parasitic relationship. That is a parasitic relationship. The man has never shown any interest in you. He has never told you he wants you. He has never told you he even needs a wife in the first place. He is just in a situation whereby he needs to just put himself together, get himself together, and know the next line of action to do. And yet, you came into his life, you become a parasite on him. Eventually, you, 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 you force yourself on him. There is no how he won't maltreat you because he never loves you. There is no woman on earth that does not have that man that love her truly. But it's very possible that a man that loves you, you didn't love him. But do you know if you consider that man, is love that you have considered. If you allow him to, to express that love to you, you will start developing interest for him. Even those who didn't like you, your enemies, if they dip you inside soccer way, you will still be loved by the man that loves you. If your enemy like me, they rob you shit. The man that love you will still love you. But the man you ended up with is not the one that loves you. You know your own personal logistic. Why you have refused to consider the one that loves you. Due to your own personal logistic, you refuse to allow the man that loves you to, to, to have you. You ended up with a man that you love. And now the man is, is punishing you. And of course, men, I know I have a lot of men on this platform. Do not allow any lady to force, himself, uh, uh, to force herself on you. If you don't love her, verbalize it that I know you love me, but I love someone else. 
You understand me? Let her know that you didn't love her. Because all these men that you are seeing that they are brutalizing their wife, beating their wife, they are not evil, they are not bad. There is nobody that is 100% bad and there is nobody that is 100% good. But all these brutal men you are seeing around, it is because of the fact that the woman was the one that forced herself on them. Look at flashback look at the beginning look at the foundation of that relationship you as a woman you yourself know that this man never desire you he never told you he loves you the one that loves you that is always looking for you sending your friends to you telling the, trying to express his love to you you see pray for the spirit of discernment we know that men can be deceptive but there are men that are truly in love pray that god should help you to discern and go for the man that loves you not the one you love you understand me? Do not allow any lady to force himself herself on you. Forget about the fact that uh, she has a child for you or you have slept together. You didn't rape her. You didn't rape her. Even if she lay a curse on you, that curse will not come to pass because you didn't rape her. Don't allow any woman to any lady to force herself on you because by the time she forces she forces herself on you and you ended up together, you will be a brutal husband. You will be a brutal man. Why will a man be wicked in the house and go and buy car for for his girlfriend? All these men that are bad at home, they are good outside because that is where even Bible says where where your treasure is, that is where your mind will be. So women that are always complaining, go and check your foundation. You have married the man you love, not the one that loves you. And the best option for a woman is to marry a man that loves her. If a man loves you, you will know that you are in paradise. We have always been in love. And God is faithful. Do not tag any man as evil. Maybe tomorrow God will raise somebody to start talking for women, to start talking and start fighting for the rights of women. I have chosen to study the male gender because they are very straightforward. A man does not pretend. If a man tells you yes, that's it. If he tells you no, a man will have, will have spoken his mind in action. He doesn't call you. You're dating somebody, a so-called dating. He, two months, three months, he has never started up a conversation with you. He has never called you that, oh, I just want to say hi. He has never asked of your well-being. You see, it's all about give and take. He has never exchanged any gifts with you. You are the one giving, giving, giving every time. He has not reciprocated. That is a sign that this man does not love you. You don't have to force yourself. Even forget about the opposite gender let us look at it let's say you have a neighbor and you are always visiting please overlook i'm at work i'm at work so people are discussing you understand overlook the background noise so you have a neighbor you are the one visiting him you are the one eating his food you are the one calling him for so many years are you not going to be tired of that friendship so either friendship, courtship, relationship, any, any ship you have with somebody and you are the one giving, that is a parasitic relationship. You are disturbing these men, you are frustrating them. Allow a man to be with the woman he loves. Allow a man to express, because you are frustrating him, you didn't allow him to be good. You didn't allow the good in him to come out because he's waking up, he's seeing the woman he doesn't love. The love of his life, you didn't allow him to marry her. Free your mind. Free that man. Allow him to chase you. Let him woo you. Because whether you like it or not, your plight does not change the societal norms. You have to submit no matter what. Do not stay with a man you love. Stay with a man that loves you. His love can help you to start developing interest in him. And before you know it, everything will work well. A man that loves you will never allow ordinary mosquito even to bite you. Not to talk of beating you. All these brutal treatment, treatments we are seeing around. We are seeing lack of love. I think it's high time that the, the religious leaders start preaching love. As Christ loved the church. How does Christ love the church? He gave his life for it. Sacrificial love. So please, let's start preaching. Let's start talking about love. And let's tell young ladies, those who are already there, we pray that God will deliver them. But those who are not there, do not, do not marry a man that you love. Marry the one that loves you. If you discover that your love for this person is more than his own, pray that God should lift that burden from your heart. Do not frustrate yourself. As you are pushing yourself to a man, that does not love you. You are choking that man's self. Eventually, the man will become he will become a bad person to you. You will start seeing him, seeing him as demon. And he is not a demon. You didn't allow him to be with the woman he loves. You didn't allow him to be with the love of his life. 
So that is the what for people asking me question that what is the cause of that is for my little uh uh question, little little research, I've discovered that a lot of women ended up with the person they love, not the person that loved them. And there is no how it's going to work. Bible says love your wife. It doesn't say do not love your husband. Love your wife because he knows that if a man loves you, in fact, you, you, you is as good as you're in paradise. So don't force yourself on a man. A man is always straightforward. Men don't pretend. If he doesn't love you, your opinion will not matter to him. He will not communicate to you. He will not even, even he will not even care whether you exist or not. He won't call you. He won't start any conversation with you. He won't do anything to 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 make your mind attached to him. And you yourself, you know that at the foundation of that relationship, you were the one calling him. You were the one starting up a, a chat with him. You are the one always telling him things about yourself. And he will be saying, eh, hey, hey, yeah, okay. Or he will be giving you monolingual re response. Responses that are monolingual, just a single word. And even before he replied, now maybe two or three days, that was when he will reply the message you sent, for instance, last week. You see that this man, they, 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 he has spoken. He doesn't love you. He doesn't want you. Why must you force yourself on him? If you end up with that type of man, he will brutalize you. He will beat the hell out of you. Do you know that if a man loves you, he will bring sense out of your nonsense? But if it is a man that you love that does not love you in return, even your humility will be taxed as pride. I'm telling you. Even if you are intelligent, he will call you foolish. You will look foolish to a man who does not love you, even if you are the wisest on earth. So, I believe it is a man that loves you, you ended up with, your little efforts will be amplified. I am telling you, do not marry a man you love. Go and marry the one that loves you. That man that loves you, that is always, the little he has, appreciate him now. Let him, let, consider him, consider the love. Forget about frivolous things. Forget about the ones you have been with before that has used a lot of things to, to sweet talk you. Look, consider the one that loves you. Consider the man that loves you, not the one you love. Don't frustrate yourself. Because we keep on saying all these things. Women are to submit. There is nothing you can do. You've got to submit. How will you submit to an unloving man? And whether he's loving or not, that's what the scripture says. Do not go for a man you love. Him. Do not go. And I'm saying this because I know that religious leaders will not tell you. They will not. A lot of them will not. The, the correct sermon, the love of Christ, that they how to preach. Where is the message of salvation these days? Where is the message of sanctification, holiness, and love for fellow human beings? It's only prosperity, power, deliverances that we are seeing all around. And after every deliverance section, we don't even know what we were delivered from. Because the man that is hardened is still hardened. The man that is unloving is still unloving. So don't, don't endanger your soul. Don't endanger.